Let's be honest, you do not know how to make stable head tracking. Maybe you tried to follow a couple of those short tutorials, but you just can't get it right because it ends up looking like this. Okay, I can't play that any longer. It's time to show you an in-depth way on how to actually get the job done. Once you're in After Effects, make sure you have the clip you want to track is raw like this and not pre-composed. Make sure you have it selected, then go over to the tracking panel and click on Stabilize Motion. These tracking squares will pop up. And what I want you to do is look for a specific point throughout the clip that stays visible but doesn't disappear. And that could track the movement that you want. Usually, you would want to track their nose, but sometimes that doesn't work. So you could track the person's ear if it's more visible, or maybe their lip, or eye. Eyes aren't really the best strategy because if the person blinks it messes up tracking and overall makes it way harder to do. So drag the tracker over to the place you wanted to track. In my case I decided to track the nose. Go ahead and make it a little bigger so it's on top of the specific part you want to track. And just like I explained in the face tracking text video, the bigger you make these squares, the better and smoother the tracking will be. And the longer it'll take to render depending on your computer's power. The smaller you make the squares the less accurate the tracking will be. But it will render it faster. I'm going down the bigger square route because my head movement is going to be all over the place on this clip. Once you have the squares in place, go over here and click on the play button. It'll start to render the track. You will want to pause it every now and then just in case it makes a mistake. For me, it didn't make much mistakes, which is good. If it did for you, and for example, it flied off like this, what you would want to do is stop the preview if it's still going. Go to the frame where it starts to fly off and just drag it back to the tracking point. And just click on this arrow right here, which should render one frame forward at a time. And if it does fly off again, then just drag it back to where it should for be. For me, there was only one frame that was sort of off. So after I finished most of the track, I just went back there, adjusted it. I put it back and I made the following tracking clips more smooth. So once you've tracked the entire clip you wanted, go here and click on apply. Now this confirmation thing will pop up saying apply dimension. Depending on how you want your tracking to look, you might want to change this. If you click on the X and Y dimension, it will make your tracking look like this. AKA it will move up and down, left and right. If you select Y tracking, then it will only move up and down. Finally, if you select X tracking, it will move left to right. But I'm already assuming you knew what those meanings were, because if you didn't, go back to it's great. If you chose Y tracking or X and Y tracking, the chances are you might see these really ugly borders. Time to jump. To get rid of them, go up here and apply motion tile to your clip. And change the output width to 200. And click on the mirror edges. But for me, I ended up going with X tracking because the character's head movement in this clip goes up and down a lot. And I do not want to see these ugly uh, head reflections. Now go ahead and mess around with the scale and position value. Lastly, go down here and enable motion blur. So it could give you this clean little blur effect whenever the character starts to move fast. And just like that, after some more practice, you have mastered the clean head tracking ways. But wait, maybe you don't want to use that in this specific edit. So maybe you want some head tracking text like this Captain America edit has. If that's the case, then find out how to make that text right over here.